It's the top of the table clash between the Super Reds and the SAF. Hi there, my name is Angelique Teo and welcome to Channel 5's exclusive coverage of the NTUC Income Yost S League this Wednesday at the Yishun Stadium. Now this evening's game could very well turn out to be the title decider. In their four encounters this season, the Super Reds have won once and drawn once. But they will be without their talismanic midfielder, Odog Yi, who is back in Korea after a season-ending injury. Now, the Warriors, however, are without any major injury woes. Masahiro Fukasawa and Tetsak Chaiman are the key players for SAF against Park Ki-wook and Seo Su jong who are in midfield. Well, it's now time for your live commentary with your commentators of the evening, Sati Kumar and DJ Roberts. Thank you, Angel. You're joining us here live at the Ishun Stadium for the clash between the Super 8s and the SAF FC Warriors. Here's the lineup for the Super 8s. The site that has no changes from the last time they took on Senkang Pongo, having won 3-0 away from home. What a victory that was. This is the lineup. We'll shortly see the formation. And joining me in commentary position is PJ Roberts. PJ, talk me through this lineup. Good solid lineup. Obviously, the, the key player missing there, eh, Doggy, is a massive loss to them. Obviously, uh, out for the rest of the season, but a very big solid lineup. In midfield, Park Ki Wook, he really is a key playmaker, really gets them ticking through midfield. And Choi Dong Su going forward. But what emphasizes that Super Red side is really their teamwork and their ability to work hard together. Well, have a look at the substitutes. For the Super 8s. And let's now have a look at the lineup for SAFFC Warriors. Three changes in this lineup. In comes John Wilkinson, Shaiful Esha, and Daniel Bennett from the side that actually beat Young Lions 2 0. A PJ, a very solid looking lineup for the Warriors. It certainly is a very well balanced side. Playing a 4 2 3 1 formation. Fukasawa and Wilkinson. Shielding the back four that allows Murakami, Terzak to go forward, as well as Ahmad and Alexander Juric. 28 goals this season, just keeps getting better and better each year. So there's such a well-balanced lineup. Two very contrasting teams, Sassy. We've got SAF with plenty of quality, talented players, while Super Reds are emphasised by their teamwork. Well, just talking about Alexander Duric, he finished last season with 37 goals, a massive 37 goals. And uh, this season, he's already got 28 goals, three more matches left in this competition. As we see the Warriors huddling together, I'm sure the minds must be really focused towards the business end of the season. They've got three more matches to go, one hand on the trophy. What will be going through their minds, PJ? Oh, they'll be incredibly excited. A little bit anxious, you would think. I mean, they're really two wins away from the title. They really are in the driving seat. We know that Super Reds gave up, I guess, them being in the driving seat when they lost to Alberix and Nagata 2-1 at Jalan Basar. Their performances at Jalan Basar this season have been very, very poor. So SAF, really, as you mentioned, they have uh, one hand on the trophy. There's Alexander Juric leading from the front, plenty of experience, looking to be the first team in the S League to win the title three years in a row. This is a massive, massive game, Sassy. Absolutely. Just looking at the way the teams are lined up, it's history in the making anyway because if the Super Reds go on to win the title, they'll be the first foreign team ever in the league to win the title. And if the Warriors walk away with the title, it's three titles back to back. What an achievement for a young coach like Richard Bork. Oh, fantastic. He really has done incredibly well. There's such a good team spirit, plenty of quality. There's such an entertaining team to watch as well, Sassy, which is, uh, which is always good for the viewing public. And what a game this is. And when we speak about Super Reds and their performances at Jalan Basar, as I mentioned, they have dropped an enormous amount of points this season. Obviously playing on the artificial surface there, they don't like that, but playing on their home ground here, they'll be uh, much suited to this, and this is just such a, a big, exciting game for the S-League. It's the most fascinating finish that we have had in the S-League since its inception. 
Well, there was a lot of rain earlier today, and that's the reason why the field is a little bit soggy. Let's not forget the first time we're bringing you live action from the Ishun Stadium this season. A very special occasion. Let's not forget three teams competing for the S-League title, FFFC with 70 points, Home United trailing just one point behind with 69, and the Super Reds, they are on 69 points, same as Home United, but they've got, uh, Home United got a better goal difference. Daniel Bennett will clear this one. Just a little bit too casual there. There's got cross gonna come in. The referee, T. Aravindan who's a PE teacher these days. He will be an you know, official. Should be pretty fit getting around the park there in Sassy. We can get a little bit tiresome running around on, on somewhat of a soggy pitch and we will expect fatigue just to creep in towards the end of the match. We know that it is quite soggy out there. It does mean the muscles need to work a little bit harder. There you go, Richard Bock. History in the making for a young coach. Just adding on to the credential. What a great job he's done with the Warriors. He certainly has, Sassy. Meanwhile, it's a corner for the Super Reds. Drilled in, obviously, to the fast boss. The big men are there. Just dropping in the area. No one really clearing it. Shot comes in. It's Amalatifu. Another shot. Very edgy start. The Super Reds. Very good opportunity to go one up early in the game. It was an interesting corner kick for the first one, obviously floating it into that far post area. Just catching SAS slightly unawares. Very scrambly defence here as we see, but we just look at that. Also, it's a, it's Osman it was, just throwing his body. It really is an interesting setup here. So that's where we look at the Super Reds with the league's best defence against SAF who have the league's best attack. Really contrasting styles. SAF have plenty of name players. One of these name players on the ball right here. Latif just trying to chip it in. Well, as you mentioned with the Super Reds, Sassy, their, their real key to success this year has been their ability to work as a team, to remain incredibly compact in defence. They move the ball very, very quickly. Uh, let's not forget they are missing their key player, the 12th goal hero, Odogi. He received a back injury and is back in Korea for treatment. And another thing as well, the future of these players are hanging in the balance because there are rumours that the Super Reds might not operate as a team next season. So a lot of players, in many ways, playing for the future, PJ. Yeah, very much, Sassy. They did have a very rich benefactor, I guess you could say. Jong Kyung Jun has done very well with his side, particularly when we look at the Super Reds' performance last year when it was very poor. But, but we know at this level, for a side to succeed, you do need some pretty impressive funding. The Super Reds have had it this year, with that looking to be drawn, taken away for next year. Like you said, Sassy, concerning times, and the players are on show tonight, looking for other clubs potentially. Absolutely, as uh, Pak Kang Jin, who normally operates as a striker, very deep in his own half, trying to pick the ball up. Dan Bennett with a very, very strong header. A ball falling to the very impressive Pak Munki, one of the players who's played at the highest level in Korea. Obviously, one of those players brought in to stabilize the team, especially at the back. Very, very comfortable on the ball. He's a very competent player, Sassy. Just seeing there. Very composed. Super Reds really like to keep the ball on the deck, pass it around and look for that opening. Yeah. Very different from how they were last season. Oh, it's incredible. Massive, massive difference. They are... Uh, really do look after the ball very well. They play that one and two touch football. They really stick to their, their formation, 4-4-2. They support each other very well, both in defence and attack. Technically and, and tactically a very solid side, which really emphasises their key to success this season. Well, in contrast, Richard Bock, he has some very impressive entertainers in his side. Obviously, Turdsec chairman. Once again, another very experienced campaigner, such a creative influence. John Wilkinson also. Alexander Juric up front, Amid Latif. You've got a few more star players in the SAF side, but at the same time, just works so well as a team. Great camaraderie. Richard Box done an outstanding job with them. Well, Kenji Arai went on to say in a newspaper interview that, in his opinion, John Wilkinson deserved the player of the season because he's been instrumental in the sights 
success so far. So whether if he goes on and actually wins the accolade, we'll see at the end of the season. Meanwhile, the Super Reds just trying to, to string a couple of passes together. Is that man, John Wilkinson, breaking up play again? Quality play from Johnny Wilkinson there. Just read the play very well, got the challenge in, and that had enough ability about him to be able to pick up the ball, keep possession, and just play it back. Johnny Wilkinson being deployed in a slightly more defensive role over the last couple of years. Meanwhile, it's Wilkinson with a glorious chance. Plays it on to Alexander Durich. Big Alexander Durich just seemed to have straight offside. But what a wonderful pass by Wilkinson. Wilkinson, for me, to be honest, actually, Sass, I think he took the wrong option. I would have liked to have seen him pull the trigger and have a shot himself with the unselfish play. As you mentioned, Johnny Wilkinson deployed in more of a defensive role sitting in front of the back four. He is given a license to get forward. As we just see here, it's only marginally offside. That was pretty Durich, close, wasn't yeah, it? He really needed to throw his body at it, but you just saw how close Johnny Wilkinson was. Would have liked to have seen him have a shot. We've seen him score some absolute screamers over the years. Well, early warning for the Super Reds. They really need to tighten up the defence because in that instance, no one really picked up Johnny Wilkinson. Super Reds do have the best defence, as you were speaking about earlier on, Sassy. Only conceding 29 goals. Very, very impressive. SAF, they've only conceded two more in 31. Meanwhile, it ball falls to Alexander Durich very kindly. But the keeper, Kang Sumo, very, very quick off his line. Alexander Durich, how long can he go on for? <laughs> He's <laughs> absolutely a goal machine at 37, still burning with desire. He really is a model professional. We're just seeing him getting stuck in and doing his defensive duties there. These are up for this game, SAF. We've seen a couple of big challenges already. Alex Duric just lays it off for Chaiman. Very good defensive play. Super Reds coming away with the ball again. Just trying to play the ball around. Amalatev diving in. Fukasawa now. Looking for options and finds Latif. It was just too tight there. He actually took the wrong option there. Really need to pull the ball out and switch it. There was plenty of space on the left-hand side. He just went back into that same area where the ball came out of. Very congested. Oh, that's a very, very, very late challenge. Masahiro Fukusawa. Late challenge coming in on Pat Munki. Have a better look at this one again. Yeah, just marginally late. He's up for this game as well. We talk about winning the battle in midfield and Maz right there getting stuck in. We've seen John Wilkinson with a big challenge. Amid Latif is really noted for his creative ability going forward. A couple of big challenges from him as well. And Alexander Juric. So there you go. The Warriors signaling their intentions nice and early. That they are really up for this one. Daniel Bennett finds Amalatev who's just given the ball away again. But that's well to win the ball and has options. Plenty of movement up front. Plays it on to Norikazu, who just tries his luck from the edge of the box. Could have done better because Alexander Durich was in a better position, I would have imagined. Alexander Durich, you're right, Sassy. Made a good run into the middle of the box here. Once again, you've got to pull the trigger there. Might as well test the keeper early on. It's always a little bit difficult when the ball is coming across you like that. Obviously, the key aspect is to hit the target. It is a greasy service. We see just skid along the ground. Kim Jo Hong now. Hafiz Osman, a little bit robust with this challenge. Coming in a little bit too hard on uh, Pak Kim Kwok, who normally operates down the middle, but this time around just straying to the left midfield, Kenji Arai with a very important touch away. Yeah, it is an interesting switch, as you mentioned there, Sassy. Park here, well, plenty of ability, can play anywhere in the midfield, to be honest, but being deployed in, in a slightly wider role. I haven't been able to really bring him into the game at the moment. We know that the Super Reds, their strength really is out wide. They've got some very impressive wide players, obviously Park Kiwook. Xu Su Jong down the flanks. Well, just the man in question there. Will he put the cross in? No. Good defensive work in the end. 
by Hafiz Osman. And Murakami. She's brought down in the end. He did well there, Murakami. You know that he was under plenty of pressure there. Parkman Kia was coming in very hard and very tight. It was a good challenge early on from Hafiz Osman deep in his own half to pick up the ball and win it. The challenge on Park Kiwook, who we know does have the ability to take players on and go around them. A couple of players here just looking to impress the national team coach as well with the AFF Suzuki Cup just round the corner. A couple of players need to put on a good display so that they can actually fight for their place in the squad. And one of the players who have actually signaled his intention to make the squad is uh, Warriors left back Shaifulisha. He's dreaming for the day that he can actually put on the, the Lions jersey. He's had a good season, Shaifulisha. Good left side of player. He'll be looking to step into midfield as much as possible to contribute in attack. Obviously, his defensive duties are first and foremost. Ball kept in by Pak Kanji. Just plays it on the left flank. Daniel Richards in the box. Easily dealt with. Will be a shot from distance. It's Xiao Su Jong, who's already got seven goals so far in the season. Just trying his luck from distance, trying to catch up Sherry Jantan on a very greasy surface. It is. It is incredibly greasy. There's no, no problems whatsoever with having a shot from distance, particularly on this surface, Sassy, as you mentioned. The fact that it is greasy, it is slightly uneven bounce, it is going to skid. It's always a testy time for the keeper. Do you want to hit the target, though? Not the best of clearance by Sherry Jantan. Ball given straight back to the Super Reds. We'll look at, in a very, very good position. Fukasawa just back defending. Ball bobbling all over the place now. Wilkinson just putting his foot on the ball. See, once again, well done from John Wilkinson. He got his head up, obviously looking to try and get it in the feet of Alexander Jurich. Jurich was surrounded by three defenders there, so he just picked the ball up, turned it around, shielded it. Just looking to keep possession. It is thing that SAF need to really think about, particularly from the midfielder's point of view, when they do get the ball forward, they've only got the one target man in Jurich to try and get the ball to their feet, so it's so important that the midfielders make runs forward to support also. Hafiz Osman, a jinking run there, but just seemed to have just been caught just as he was about to play the ball. So, Norikazu Murakami, obviously the target for Hafiz Osman. Doesn't find his range. Murakami made a, made a good run down there. Diagonal run from the middle of the park down to the right-hand side. Osman just couldn't get the ball into his feet. It's that run that we're just talking about, that when they do pick up the ball in midfield, you need those midfielders making those forward runs to get forward and support Alexander Jurich. Chaima now just goes past one. Makes rooms for himself. Shaifulesha. We know he can hit it from distance. He's got a very sweet left foot. But in that instance, fails to at least keep it on target. Yeah, and that's the key, Sassy, particularly a long way out. And like I mentioned, particularly on this greasy surface, there's no problem whatsoever with having a shot from that distance. But you've got to basically hit the deck. You want it to bounce at least once before it hits the keeper. Hitting the target is absolutely crucial, particularly in the early stages. You want to test the keeper. They're going to be a little bit concerned about this greasy surface. But then secondly, you need the second runner supporting to pick up the scraps off the goalkeeper if they can't hold it. Chaiman now over the ball. Plays it on to Amal Latif. Just puts the ball in the box. Obviously the target, Murakami and Alexander Duric. There's a quality ball in there from Latif. Just picked it up out of his feet, knocked it in nice and early. That's a strong run from midfield. Eventually comes to an end. Kenji Arai. Stepping in. Super Red just trying to play the way through Kenji Arai again. Very important clearance because Pak Kang Jin was closing in quickly. Wilkinson with the header away. Still not cleared away. We just see the Super Red sassy early on, really struggling to get the ball in behind SAF back forward down the flanks. That's where they really like to penetrate, and that's where they're dangerous. You can obviously see that Richard Bock 
has worked on this at training, having a chat with John Wilkinson before the game. They were very well aware that it is one of the Super Red strengths, and they're really counteracting that with maintaining a tight back four and making it difficult to get him behind. So at the moment, the Super Reds are just playing it around in midfield in front of them and really struggling, as we just see there, to get him behind them. Both Murakami and Amalatif very, very wide in their positions, really, really helping the fullbacks. Hafiz Osman and Shaifulesa just covering the space in front of them. Super Reds just trying to get some sort of space behind a very, very stubborn SFFC side. They are very stubborn in defence. As we mentioned, only conceding two more goals than the Super Reds. <laughs> very, very small number, 31 goals conceded. That's a tremendous defensive record as well. What the Super Reds do need to do, they really need to try and get a little bit more possession through the middle of the park with plenty of dynamic diagonal runs, you should say, in behind their back four to try and turn the SAF around and create a bit more space. Alexander Durich. Trying to pick out Tersak Taiman. In the end, puts it to no one. A little bit disappointed with himself, Alexander Durich. Sets a very high standard for himself. And that's the reason why Richard Bock just walking out to his touchline. I'm really impressed with what's happening. Taking a couple of notes there, PJ. He certainly is. Just looking, one of the key things he would be concerned at the moment is the inability of SAF to really get the ball into the feet of Alexander Juric in those advanced areas. Speak about Alexander Juric, as you mentioned, setting high expectations for himself. He certainly does. Obviously, I played that year with him at Garling United in 2003 and a model professional. Like you mentioned, Sassy never seems to get injured. <laughs> Outstanding endurance. Yeah, he's got plenty of goals left in him. Absolutely unbelievable, Alexander Durich. Meanwhile, ball played out to Murakami. He's got Alexander Durich in the box. Just gets past one, pulls the trigger. What a wonderful save in the end. Kang Sumo just gets a hand to that one, Fiji. Quality save there. Come to May, but look at the ball here from Turtsik Chairman initially to release Murakami. Did the right thing there for me, to be honest. Get a few bodies in the box, but you want to test the keeper. Pulled it inside, plenty of pace, pulled the trigger, hit the target. He really is creating a little bit of difficulty from those runs forward into the left and right channels, Murakami. He's really that key player getting forward to support Alexander Jurich. Well, that's all you can really ask for in a forward. Very little opportunity. Shaifulesa with the ball now. Just drills one in. Just trying to catch the goalkeeper out. Very clever. But could have done much better. Yeah, that's right, Sassy. Could have done much, much better. You know, I'm a bit of a stickler for set pieces and quality on set pieces. And when you've got your first corner kick of the game, you want to get it right in there on the penalty spot. You've got your big boys going forward. Put the goalkeeper under pressure. That's a poor corner kick for me early on. You don't want to be too fancy. You just want to float it in there. Let your boys get on. You've got Daniel Bennett in there. Obviously, Kenji Arai's in there. Alexander Jurich, you've got three very big, competent players in the air. Give them the opportunity to get on the end of it. Strong header by Kenji Arai, clearing his line. Alexander Jurich will contest for this one, but loses out. Well, an interesting here at the SAF, they don't aim to push forward they're just maintaining their position just there and then just shuffling across not wanting to pressure them well to the full part of the pitch at the moment and to be back to the pitch as well doesn't exactly it, so. but to be fair i think SAF will be happy to walk away with the draw because they are in the driving seat and uh they don't really need a result here no you're right sassy the super reds have to come out and chase the game and that's the reason why well i tend to believe that <laughs> SAF are playing the way they are playing. Oh, you're right, Sassy. They'd be, they'd be happy with a draw. They won't be thinking about that now, obviously, we, we speak about. They'll be obviously going at this 100% looking for the win. But like you mentioned, Sassy, Super Reds will start to go after this game. The longer it remains even, this game will open up in the second half. And that's when the Super Reds will be incredibly susceptible to the counter-attack. Chaiman making a run into the space. 
quickly closed down by two Super Reds. As you can see, Monkey, Park Monkey, towering over Tersak Chaiman. <laughs> he is, isn't he? A real difference in height there. Well, definitely not ability. <laughs> centre back Sassy, you'll know this. Centre backs love putting in a challenge like that in that area of the park. No danger. Absolutely. Get, and get stuck in. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> so you do a few of those in your time, Sass. Great, great place just, to get a just, challenge in. Just once or twice. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Murakami. Good control. Plays it on to Daniel Bennett. Just lets it run. Daniel Bennett plays it on to Amalate. Looking for a couple of options. Plays it off to Saifu Luisa. In a more advanced position, back to Tersak. The Warriors just playing the ball around, just looking for the option. The ball launched straight into space there. Jeez, that's a good ball from Ahmad Latif. Murakami very, very strong, holding on to the ball. Ahmad Latif, we speak about the quality of distribution from midfield. That is a tremendous ball to be able to weight it into that area and keep it in play. Just see here, and I. It's a bit of share pulling going on from the Super Reds. Not an awful lot in it there, to be honest, for me. Well, share pulling from both ends. The Super Reds just given away a free kick in a very dangerous area. Like you said, PJ earlier, Saifulesa need to put in a good cross, but it's Wilkinson. Who tries to find Daniel Bennett arriving in the far post. Ball just running out there for a goal kick. And we just saw Alexander Juris just a little bit frustrated with once again Richard Bock gesticulating to his players. Once again, we speak about the set pieces, Sassy. I generally speak about them every time I commentate. <laughs> but once again, take your time, get it settled, get the ball into the box, and put the Super Reds under pressure. You don't need to be too fancy, and that's what Richard Bock is annoyed about on the touch lines. Well, you can understand his frustration because all the big men were forward. Yep. Oh, it's an, and it's incredibly frustrating when you go forward there. A mistake at the back line. Sharul Jantan taking no chances, just puts his foot through this one. Just giving away a throw into the Super 8s. Kim Jo Hong just gives it away carelessly. A lot of little mistakes happening in the middle of the park. Their players just giving the ball away. That's a good ball to Murakami. Murakami has Alexander Duric in the box. Just takes his arm, looks up. In the end, doesn't really find any blue shirt. It's a glorious opportunity to actually capitalize on this one, PJ. It certainly was. It's a beautiful ball from the back. Once again, we just saw Murakami. He was in two minds whether to pull the trigger or cross it. And Alexander Duric was expecting him to cross it early. So he made that run straight into the near post, which is exactly the area where he should be making the run. But the longer that Murakami held on to the ball, Alexander Juric was then caught flat-footed, and SAF didn't have anyone else coming in at the far post. So as you mentioned, Sassy, great ball forward. Just an opportunity lost. Murakami really need to make his mind up early on. Is he going to cross it, or is he going to shoot it? Need a one touch, and then a decision made, and he just took too many touches. Can't agree with you more there. A little bit uncertain about his own abilities, perhaps, Murakami. It was a bit disappointing, actually, because on the other side of the park, he did it tremendously, didn't he? Took the player on, pulled the trigger, great shot. He really need to have that same thought in his head prior to picking up the ball. Perhaps just finding himself on the weak side of the field. Not really confident to play with his left. Again, it's Mur Murakami piling on the pressure. Trying to make amends, and that's a great control by Murakami. Again, two Super Red players quickly closing him down. And that's a corner for the Warriors. He's done well there, Murakami. He's had really up for this game. He's had a very impressive first 25 minutes. Works hard in defence, pick up the ball, and he's just got a very impressive ability to be able to shield the ball and look after it. That's a very concerned figure of John. Obviously screaming out the instructions for the Super H to pick up all the players. Saiful Esa. Another disappointing effort. Really needs to get good hold on that one. 
We know what he's capable of, and that's the reason exactly why Richard Bock is very, very disappointed with that effort. Yeah, well, that's three set pieces for me that SAF have basically done absolutely nothing with at the moment. If I was Richard Bock, I'd be incredibly frustrated and furious as well. Once again, opting to, to try and be a little bit clever on the corner kick. You've got all your big boys forward. You have them go forward from their central defensive area. And not once have they given them the opportunity to get on the end of it. Or oh, meanwhile, Super Reds, that was an opportunity to get behind the defence. But again, taking too long. John Wilkinson coming away with the ball now. Ball played on to So Jung Chung. Super Reds just passing the ball around, looking for that all-important opening. Kim Jo Hong trying to get it to the end of that one. As you can see, Richard Bok very not impressed with the way the things are going for the Warriors. So much so, there's asked his substitutes to warm up. He's got them all up. Showing around is important for the substitutes to continually stay up and warm. You never know when you're going to be going to be called on. He's got plenty of quality off the bench there as well. Obviously, Ashron. Jamil as well. Well, definitely Faisal. a couple of players who can really attack and go forward and get the goals for the Warriors. But whether he will make the change is the big question. What well, we see, this is Fukusawa. Simply was just got a strong challenge from the back. And that's uh, Pak Kang Jin coming in strongly. Yeah, Pak Kang Jin just couldn't get his foot around on the ball. He did well there, Fukusawa, just to get his body in the way. Well, let's see what Shaiful Esad does with this one. All the big men again coming forward. Daniel Bennett, Alexander Durich, Kenji Arai. Ball drilled in again. Another very, very disappointing set place, BJ. That's, that is incredibly poor. And Shaiful Issa, we know he's got so much more quality from his left foot than that. Well, the Super Reds just trying to counter. Just twisting and turning. Quality defending. Once again, he works so hard in that area of the park, Fukusawa. But then very well supported from the second defensive role, Tertsik chairman. Masahiro Fukusawa, who plays in the anchor role for the Warriors. And he's played out wide a little bit this year. He really has been deployed in that central role, playing that defensive duty in front of the back four over the last few weeks and has done incredibly well. Here we see the substitutes warming up for the Warriors. Meanwhile, it's a free kick for the Super Reds. Kim Jo Hong is going over to the right flank to drill this one in. And all the big men have gone forward. Look out for number 25, Jo Ki Hwan. Number 5, Pak Mung Ki. Very, very good in the air. The Warriors have brought all the big men back as well. Come very far. Then Bennett just gets ahead to that one. Pak Munki, the big number five, seemed to have fouled Dan Bennett in the process. Yeah, just pulling him down there, but so see, that's another poor set piece for me. Just lobbed in there at the far post, no real danger. You've got a really congested area right there where the penalty spot is. Plenty of players. Just put it right in there. Give your players the opportunity to get on the end of it. You whip it in with plenty of pace into that area. Any deflection, anything can happen. And the set pieces from two very quality teams in this first 30 minutes has been incredibly poor. Well, as we approach the half an hour mark, it's still nil-nil here at the Ishun Stadium. If you just joined us, you're watching the NTC Income US S League 2008 season. It's a clash between the Super Reds and the SAF FC Warriors. Everything to play for tonight, especially for the Warriors. Three points will almost mean championship for the Warriors. Let's not forget, still two more matches left to go. But tonight, it's a big, big one. There's a couple of big games coming up, isn't there? It's like they're playing Home United as well. Well, just looking at the Super 8, they will have to play Tempanese and Belestia. SAF will have to play Home United and Ngombak. That's a tricky fixture as well. Home United will have to play SAFSC and Ballester. Meanwhile, the ball drilled 
into the box. The keeper, Kung Sumo, deals with it well, punches it away. Anyway, we'll do for Daniel Bennett. You must say that's very clever, Ahmad Latif. <laughs> he did do well there. The flag was a little bit slow coming out there from the linesman. Let's have a look at here. And, I mean, that, that's a free kick. <laughs> Ahmad Latif, what he did, he's just got his body in between the ball and the defender. Any challenge is going to result in a foul. But Monkey there, a little bit too eager to win the ball in the end. Keeps away another free kick in a very, very dangerous area, just at the ed edge of the box. Now, what this free kick, yeah, wonderful position, Sassy. What this free kick is required, drilled in low and hard, hitting the target and having players run across the goalkeeper here. Saiful Eshaw, what can he do this time around? He's got plenty of blue shirts in the box. Very, very tight marking in the box by the Super Reds. The referee just asking the players to calm down a little bit. Ball drilled in. Oh, goodness gracious me. That is so frustrating. Shifle is a one player who's trying to impress, as we mentioned. That's well, three or four times, maybe five times. Just getting his foot right under the ball. As I mentioned, what that free kick required was hit in low and hard, skidding across the surface, having your teammates make those runs towards the near post, across the face of the goal, across the goalkeeper, putting them under pressure. That's a poor, poor set piece. And we can't emphasise enough how important quality set pieces are in a tight game, which this is, obviously. So that's five opportunities now. You just see Richard Bock absolutely furious. Meanwhile, Kenji Arai with a big header. Alexander Durich trying to use his pace to good use there. That's a man. He gets a big smile on his face. He loves his football. What, a, what an experienced campaigner. He plays with the enthusiasm of a 12-year-old. Absolutely magnificent. Well, let's not forget at some stage he is one of the best players in Asia. Yep. Tersak Chaiman. Super Reds just coming out from the back. No foul, says the referee, Tui Aravindan. Amal Latif looks up. Ball doesn't fall kindly for him. Again, two Super Red players quickly closing him down. Wilkinson, Tersak Chaiban, will they be goal number one? Great save in the end. Kang Sumu, very quick to parry that one away. It was a good effort in the end by Tersak Chaiman. Great build-up play there from SAF. And the key there, Tersak Chaiman, as we mentioned, hitting the ball low and hard across the ground. Alexander Juric is a little bit frustrated. You see, he did get held back. He was trying to get in to pick up that second ball. There plenty of arms over him. He'd love to have a look at the replay of that, obviously, at half-time. A great work out on that right-hand side by Ahmad Latif. He's so impressive tonight with his ability to get the ball and try and get the ball into the box early. Just created that couple of yards of space, went down the line, whipped it in low and hard. On this sort of surface, low and hard crosses and shots really is your key to success. Well, the Super 8s get away with that one. Thanks to the goalkeeper, Kang Sumo. Very good goalkeeping in the end. John Wilkinson with his left foot. I'll tell you what, that was pretty close because John Wilkinson was already celebrating because... He really got good hold of that one. Very, very good effort. Did very well there, Johnny Wilkes. You just look at the ball bobbling around. Plenty of plays. Uses his body very, very well. And you just see how close that was. Johnny Wilkinson just getting his body in there. Plenty of players. Alexander Juric got himself in a good position. But Johnny Wilkinson, quality play. Just illustrating his ability from midfield. He makes those deep late runs into the box. Well, you must say, the Warriors are knocking on the door. Getting closer and closer. Here at the Yishun Stadium. Just trying to find that all-elusive first goal. Three titles in a row, back-to-back. -back. What a great achievement. No other club in Singapore has ever done that. A great opportunity for the players, for the club. Three part of history.
And of course, let's not forget the Super Reds are looking to create history themselves as well of being the first ever foreign team in their league to win a league title. Certainly has been one of the most exciting S League seasons. We've had the opportunity to watch plenty of games and we sassy and the, the quality of the S League really has improved. Alexander plays off to Amalatif with acres of space in front. Needs a good delivery. Doesn't find it in the end. So he had the right idea, Sassy. Yeah, had the right idea. Just whipping it low and hard into the near post. Very, very strong challenge by Dan Bennett. Hafiz Osman does well to keep the ball in, but gives away possession. Bucky Walk. Plays it off to... Man in the middle there. John Bungik. Super Reds really struggling to get anything going forward. They get the ball in the middle of the park. You just see a very, very compact SAF defence. The back four and the midfielders. You just see how tight they are here. Just drifting offside. And there's absolutely no reason why you should be called offside from that position. Choi Dong Su looking straight across the line. Needs to make sure he stays onside there. But, but SAF in defence, as we mentioned, they've got their back four. But the midfielders, particularly of John Wilkinson and Masahira Fukasawa, they're dropping in deep and making any balls into the front two for the Super Reds very, very difficult, cutting out that channel into their feet. Amalate just good, trying to get past two players. What must be said is that every time a blue shirt gets the ball, the Super Reds, two players in fact, very, very quick to close them down. Not allowing them any time whatsoever on the ball. Again, the ball played out to Choi Dong Su. Easily cut out by Hafiz Osman. Amalatif. Looking for options. Just tries to signal to Alexander Duric to run beyond the defence. In the end, both players not quite on the same page. Just ran out of options there, Ahmad Latif. And that was the concerns to say when you are playing with just one striker. And Alexander Duric... Well, that looks out to be a, a lash out by Choi Dong Su on Hafiz Osman. Choi Dong Su just. Very, very late, oh, isn't it? Is. <laughs> That's a bit of a comedic challenge. Choi Dong Su trying to go straight through the ball and missing it. Hafiz Osman still struggling to get up. Just clutching his tie there, referee Aravindan. Just. Asking him to leave the field. He's going to take his time. As we're just talking about with SAF and their defence. Oh, that's on some TV. There we go. <laughs> but the uh, their defensive setup has been impressive. We know that SAF really are renowned for their attacking ability. Scoring 78 goals this season, the best attack. But let's not forget how impressive they are in defence and. They really are winning the battle in the middle of the park tonight. And that's providing with so much possession in the Super Reds half. Wilkinson just gets past his marker. Perhaps with his weaker foot, just trying to catch the goalkeeper out. Had the right idea there. Just having a quick turn and a strike. Just getting underneath it. A little bit of a bobble as well. Doesn't really assist too much. Strike it on goal. Johnny Wilkinson is one of those players who does have a great eye for goal. Doesn't find himself in as many advanced positions as he did a few years ago. He's playing a slightly more defensive role, as I spoke about earlier on. But still has that license to get forward and make those deep runs. Deep late runs, I should say. Came here, actually, and played for Woodlands Wellington many, many years ago. And then made a switch to SAFFC. Now a Singaporean. He's married to Karen. Lovely little baby girl. One of those key players definitely for the Lions in the AFF Suzuki Cup. He will be a big, big player. Meanwhile, it's the ex-Thai international, Tersak Chaiman. Plays it on to another former Singapore international, Amal Latif. Well, exactly. He's another player will be looking to force his way back into the Singapore squad. 
really has matured as a player both on and off the park in this last season. He's losing control there, but as I said, I've been impressed with his ability to try and get the ball into the box early tonight. Superettes really struggling to get all of the ball and pass it around, giving the ball away every two touches they actually get on the ball. Then Bennett leaves it out for Wilkinson, a bit of confusion there. Choi Dong Su, one on one against Kenji Arai, plays it out. Is it going to be goal number one? The ball just clipping the crossbar there. That could have easily be, been goal number one for the Super Reds. The Warriors just gone to sleep for a bit. And it's player number 11, Seo Sung Jung. Quality little link up play here from Choi Dong Su. Good little step over. And we just saw there it's a Fizz Osman who just gets drawn too far to the left hand side that allow Seo Sung Jung that space to take his shot first time. Had exactly the right idea. Just trying to float it in the inside of his foot around Cheryl Juntan. Just hitting right in the joints of the post and the crossbar. The Super East just illustrating how dangerous they can be on the counter-attack. Winning the ball in the middle of the park and then attacking very, very quickly. And you'd have to think, Sassy, with 40 minutes gone, SAF with all their possession and the opportunities they have had going forward, have been able to take advantage of that. It could come back and haunt them later on in the game because we know that the Super Reds do have that ability to counter-attack and counter-attack quickly. Well, if the Super Reds win this one, they'll put them on 72 points and actually take them on top of the table. A very, very concerned figure of Richard Bock. Could have easily found himself, or his team rather, 1-0 down at this stage. The goal post coming to the rescue of the Warriors. Charles Jantan clearly beaten there. He certainly was. Super Reds just looking for the opening. Paki Wong plays it on into the middle. Doesn't really find the intended target of Pak Kang Jin. Warriors just trying to slow down the pace of the game a little bit. To be fair, there have been a couple of players very disappointing for the Warriors, especially in the first half. We must say Shai Felicia has been one of them. Shuffleisa is certainly off his game tonight. Hasn't really been able to get forward and contribute in attack. He said pieces have been poor. You just seem to get beaten too easily there. But we see a very strong run. It cuts it. But Choi Dong Su. Well, Shuffleisa was a player that stepped forward into midfield to try and pick up the ball. He got beaten too easily. That allowed the Super Reds to attack down that area where he vacated. And Jaira wanting to stand up the play up, but opted to, opted to lunge in. He always gets sort of caught in two minds there in a way. Well, we have a look at, better look at this one. Choi Dong Su, very tricky, cuts in. No choice whatsoever. Ken Jaira had to bring the player down. As you can see, a very, very dangerous area now. Can the Super Eights capitalize? Confirmation, Kenji Arai gets booked. Well, Kenji Arai really could have stayed on his feet there. Just trying to shuttle the play. He did have support coming in the form of Fizz Osman, it was. Well, we get indication that there will be one minute added on to this first half. Meanwhile, the Warriors have to defend this one. The ball drilled in. Oh, that was pretty close. I'm sure the Super 8 fans thought that that has actually crept into the back of the net there. Well, it was dipping furiously towards the end there. We just see it floated in. It took a wicked dip. You just see how quickly it did start to drop. That was... Uh, very good, take it very well taken free kick, rather. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth official indicates at a time of one minute. At a time, one minute. There you go, the confirmation. The stadium announcer, one minute edit. In the first half. The ball still with the Super Reds. 
just trying to mount a last attack here. Twisting and turning, Tersa Chaiman wins the ball, fair and square, and lays it on to Murakami. Not too many options up front, Alexander Buric, the usual suspect, but you can see John Wilkinson does really well, pulls the trigger, that's goal number one for the Warriors. What a wonderful goal, Murakami, Murakami does ever so well to drink past his marker, that's goal number one for the Warriors. Norikazu Murakami doing what he does best, pulled out into a wide area, it was Turnsick Chairman who really got the ball going though. Picked up the ball from deep, played it into Murakami. And we just see it's right here, the acceleration he has to go past the player. One touch to go past the player, drills it in, hits the target. Just look at the quality he illustrates. Little dummy, little jink. And the strike. Absolute quality. Kung Sa Nu really should have done a little bit better than that. He had his body positioning. He got his hand to it. Take nothing away from the quality of the strike of Murakami. Well, that comes at the death of the first half. Here we see Richard Bock, a slightly calm figure, because his team leads here at the Issue Stadium 1 0. The Super Reds did everything they could. They came close to grabbing that first goal, but it was not meant to be. SAFFC through Norikazu Murakami take the lead here at the Asian Stadium. The score reads the Super Reds 0, SFFC 1. We'll join you right after this break. Welcome back to the Ishun Stadium. We are just seconds away from the second half. The Warriors taking the lead here at the Ishun Stadium. The Super Reds came close themselves but failed to capitalize on the chances they created. That's referee T. Aravindan. You get the second half away in a, just a couple of seconds. No changes for both teams. The Super Reds really, really need to push on and find the all-important equalizer. The Warriors creating so many opportunities early on in the first half, but failed to find the finishing touch. But it was Norikazu Murakami, the 46th minute, who gave the Warriors the lead. Fukasawa just shielding, does well. Wins a throw-in for the Warriors. Masahiro Fukasawa, player signed from the Thai League, Bangkok University. Doing a wonderful job just at the heart of midfield there. Need one, two. In the end, it was Punk Kang Jin who got the final touch. No says the referee. It's a corner for the Super Red. So really piling on the pressure early on in the first half, second half rather. Free kick will be taken by player number 22, Kim Jo Hong. Really needs to put in a good corner here because all the big men are forward. Watch out for the big number 25, Ju Ki Hwan. Ball drilled in. It was John Wilkinson who got a hit to that one. Still not cleared. SFFC failing to clear the line. It's Daniel Banner who gets a very important touch because there was a Richard arriving at the far post. Super Reds still keeping possession. Strong challenge coming in for by the goal scorer Murakami. Daniel Bennett will deal with this one. Doesn't do so. Foul in the end. Super Reds, or rather, it's a throw in for the Super Reds. Played quickly, taken quickly. Super Reds, you can see a little bit of urgency in the second half, PJ. Super Reds have picked up the intensity in this second half. Really needing to chase the game. Really want to get a goal back early. Put the pressure back on SAF. You see a good challenge in there from Ahmad Latif. His defensive duties have been very impressive tonight. Generally noted for his attacking qualities, but very impressive team display and his, his ability in the tackle. He's 
been very, very good. Well, you must say, tactically, Aman Latif Kamaruddin and also Norekamu, Mur- Murakami, Norekazu Murakami, rather, played a wonderful role for the Warriors. Just attacking when they need to and defending when they have to. That's a poor clearance by Shara Jantan. Makes up for it. Quick off the line. And finds Tersa Chaiman now. Alexander Duric just indicating. Put it on the space there, but fails to do so. Chaiman. Had the right idea. It's had to say Chaiman. Just really need to knock it in towards the corner flag a little bit more. A little bit more pace on the ball. Rokami give away a foul. Super it. Really turning it on now. They have picked up the intensity, haven't they? Jung Kyung Jung would have had plenty of words to say at half time. We've got SAF pegged in their own half at the moment. Oh, that's a wayward ball there. He's giving the Warriors a chance to get it back again. Super Reds just moving the ball as fast as they could. That'll be a throw in for the Warriors. Did well there, Murakami, just to pick up the ball, shield the ball, draw the foul. To be fair, he's done really well, hasn't he? He's had a good game, Sassy. Really does play to his strengths. We know that he is playing behind Alexander Juric, but he does work very hard to get forward and support. Some great diagonal runs. And what I'm so impressed about, his ability, just when he does go past the player, to pull the trigger early. Half his offsman with the cross. Just trying to find Alexander Duric. Perhaps it lead a little bit too powerful. You can see Richard Bock. So one aspect of SAF play that their inability really to get the ball into the box into those dangerous areas. They've generally been a little bit too flighted. Too much in the air. You speak about on this surface, whip it in low and hard. Well, there has to be a booking. Well, it's the big number 25, Joki Juan. Alexander Duric did well to just turn past him. No choice but to drag the big number nine. That's right. It's a great tussle between those two. Juki Juan, Alexander Duric are both big and strong and good in the air. Look at that. They're almost the same height. And Alexander Duric, almost six foot three, six foot four. Very, very good in the air. And he's got a lot of pace to burn at 37 years old. So that's a very, very scary opponent you're facing if you're a defender. To be honest, I think Alexander Juric has actually got a little bit quicker over the last few years. It <laughs> sounds a little bit strange to say, but... <laughs> Meanwhile, it's the Super Reds just trying to get back into this game. Tactical changes, a couple of tactical changes, but no substitutions for the Super Reds. I see the Super Reds defending higher up the park, trying to win the ball back early. At times they are now just playing with three at the back. Extra player at the back, stepping into midfield. And just throwing bodies more forward. It's you just got to lift the intensity a little bit. Defend a little bit higher at the park. And when you do get the ball, make sure you get bodies going forward and making those forward runs. Very good passage of play by the Super Reds. Causing a bit of confusion in the heart of the defence. Shara Jantan very quick off his line. The end is still not over. Song Jung just in the end skips past Hafiz Osman. Have a look at this good defending by Hafiz Osman, just gets his body in between the defender or the rather the attacker and the ball, drawing the foul. He did do well there, Hafiz. Just jump in there as you mentioned, get your body in the way. So you see a substitute nice and early for the Super Reds. Well, it's player number 15. Park Kang Jin. He'll be replaced by player number seven, Moon Su Ho. That's a good substitution there, Park Kang Jin was pretty much a pedestrian in the first half. Moon Su Ho will come on up front, trying to provide a little bit more impetus going forward, a little bit more quality. So that's a straight swap there, a striker for striker. Park Kang Jin has already got four goals. Makes way for his compatriot. So a little touch there from Terzik Chaiman. 
This little back heel, little link up there with his teammate, Ahmad Latif. Ahmad Latif worked tirelessly down the left flank for the Warriors, or right flank rather, for the Warriors. Alexander Duric now gets past his marker with his right foot. Great defending. Very, very good defending there. Slumber of come, it was. Drifting there at the far pace. Alexander Juric did very well to put it into that area. Was that player there, Choi Wong-Giong, really was up to the task. His body positioning was good. He knew where Murakami was. Maybe he needed to be a little bit square, to be honest, but he had enough about him to be able to realise where Murakami's run was going. That's like Chaima now. Is the header coming in for Kenji Arai? That's goal number two for the Warriors. Well-worked corner. Kenji Arai, no one really picking up the centre-back. It gets better and better for Kenji Arai. Who's already got two goals so far. That's to Iseli. That's goal number three for the Japanese. Kenji Arai straight through the middle. Tertic time and quality on the set piece. Look at that right into the six-yard box. Kenji Arai just goes straight past his marker. We spoke about during the first half my frustration with the ineffectiveness and the lack of quality on their set pieces right at the beginning of the second half. Get the ball right into the middle for your big boys to get on the end of it and they've reaped dividends from it. Pak Bunki, the culprit there, just taking his eye off the ball and also the eye off Kenji Arai. What a wonderful hit in the end. Kenji Arai, what an inspiration he's been to the Warriors. A rock in the heart of the defence and also does his bit in getting the goals. Meanwhile, Super Reds not really giving up now. Just tightening the screw, trying to get that first goal. Ball comes in. Hafiz Osman away. Still not over. Just trying to take on the whole SAFFC Warriors. Oh! In the end, plenty of action in the goal mouth area. What it really needed was a finishing touch. Kim Jo Hong, a jinking run in the box. Can't find the finishing touch. Cho Wong Gyeong just getting on the end of it. Just couldn't get enough power, but it came back from the defensive mistake from Scheifel this early on, I must say. The ball came rolling out to him. What he did is he took a touch back into the 18-yard box and gave the ball away. Really would have been better just allowing the ball to run past him towards the sideline. It's not having a good game, unfortunately, for SAF. But good positive signs for Super Reds. Duric lays it up for Murakami. That's a wild, wild effort. He's seen much better, especially his goal earlier. He'll Certainly. be disappointed with himself. He will be, and that ball's gone. The kids are gone with that one. We won't be seeing that one back on the park. <laughs> Murakami just striking straight through the ball. Well, all of a sudden, the game has come to life. Super 8s have no choice but to move forward and try and fire the goal. They really do need to go after the game now, as you mentioned, Sassy, which is going to open up and make them incredibly susceptible to the counter-attack. SAF really in the driving seat now. That's clearly a foul by John Wilkinson. That's the reason why he's there, just to break up the play. Does well enough to track his man. See, Jimmy Wilkinson just trying to... Really didn't need to make the challenge there. We did see, he obviously thought he was going to get to the ball first. Just missing it by half a yard. That support there in Daniel Bennett. Well, we know was, that the Super Reds have quality on the set piece here. That was a substitute, Mansu Ho. Got brought down by Wilkinson. Again, another glorious opportunity for the Super Reds to get back into this game. Still plenty of time left. Paul just clipped in. How did they miss from there? But it would not matter because the two players who have straight offside is Ju Ki Hwan and also Choi Wan Gyeon seem to have just wandered off. Paul just hitting the defensive wall and falling very, very kindly. The referee was spot on because the players were clearly in an offside position, PJ. Definitely offside. Ju Ki Hwan did well there, actually. Missed the target. Let's see how close it was, but it does come back to the foul that Johnny Wilkinson did give away. Really do need to be careful at this point in time. 2-0. It's a dangerous position to be in when you are leading by two goals. There is the 
susceptibility that you may play within yourself a little bit more, just drop the intensity a little bit. I need to make sure they stick to their task because if you give the Super Reds half a sniff to get back into this game, you really are leading down a very, very dangerous path. Well, here we have a look at the second goal. What a wonderful delivery. Just past the front post, Kenji Arai. No one really picking him up. That must have gone down as a, a free header. Kenji Arai, perfectly timed run. Tertsi Chiman with the quality corner kick. And that's why I was so frustrated in the first half. With all of SAS possession and the set pieces they did have, they did not do that once in the first half. Meanwhile, Alexander Duric just closing up and making it very hard for the Super Reds to get out of their own half. So substitute Mansuho not really finding his touch. Ball given away by the Warriors. Choi Wangyeon. Pak Hiwok. A nice reverse pass. Plays it on to So Yong Jung. Looking for options. And Pak Hiwok there. Just trying to play the ball through. Still over. Shot coming in. Fairly comfortable for Sharad Jantan. Right straight down his throat there. He's not going to make a mistake from there. Nah, pretty straightforward save, but I must say, just giving the ball away in their 18 yard box. So the Super Reds really starting to create a few more opportunities. It's generally going to happen when you are chasing the game and throwing more bodies forward. SAF really need to stick to their guns, make sure they are compact in defence. They really did win the battle of the midfield in that first half. They really need to try and stick to their guns there. Close the Super Reds down as quickly as possible, get nice and tight. SAF also do need to try and defend a little bit higher at the park than what they are. If you sit back and try and defend a little bit deeper, you're going to absorb too much pressure and give the Super Reds more opportunities. Well, 2-0 is not a very safe scoreline. The game is here to be lost by SAFFC if they just go to sleep. The Super Reds, meanwhile, defending very, very stoutly. Wilkinson again doing his defensive duty, tracking back his man. Get up, get up, get up! Hey, hey! Chung going one. Ah, ah. Hey. Fukasawa picks out John Wilkinson. Come on, Nori, come on! Short touch, just, just giving the ball away. That's another strong challenge coming in on Hafiz Osman. I'm not sure if that's a foul, to be honest. Let's have another look at that one. Fizz Osman, he's put his body on the line a couple of occasions. He doesn't mind getting in for a challenge. You see the ball here. The ball, nothing wrong with that for me. That ball was there to be won. Well, that was just the manner that he came in. Yeah. Here we see Coach Jun. He's smartly dressed today as well. He certainly is. A little bit concerned at the moment. Inside. He's really begun to express themselves a bit more in this second half, but still conceding another goal. Ball comes in. Another one of those straight efforts. Straight into the arm of Cheryl Jantan. He needs much more than that to trouble the goalkeeper. Kim Jo Hong didn't really get the power he wanted. Meanwhile, a flick on by Alexander Durich trying to find Tersak Chaiman. Amalatif. How can he do this one? Well dealt with by the Super Reds. Very calm defending. They did deal well there defensively, Sassy. Four or five bodies into the box, tracking the players very well. Mansuhon just using his pace to good use. Turned Daniel Bennett and then just stepped on the gas. Daniel Bennett just protesting there that he took a dive there. That was pretty close, right at the edge of the box there. Look at the acceleration. Did well there. You just see Daniel Bennett. He's coming. He did. What was done well there was the fact that he was dribbling and he went across the body of Daniel Bennett. It's a good tactic there. It's a substitute Mun Su Ho. So when he picked up the ball, ran across the body, the running line of Daniel Bennett forced him into the foul. He did get a little bit of pace there, Daniel Bennett. The Super Reds really starting to get him behind the SAF back four more so in this half than they did in the first. Munsuho, plenty of pace to burn there. You see there, it is. Oh, goodness. It actually 
He was in the box. Look like he was in the box, <laughs> yeah. did Well, the referee has a better view on this one. Meanwhile, the Super 8s have a chance to grab a goal. Again, one of those countless weak efforts on goal, especially from set plays. Disappointing, very disappointing. Really needing to at least hit the target, drill it in. Force Cheryl Johnson into a save, and to be honest, in this game, I really can't think of too many times where he's been forced into a difficult save. It was that one opportunity that ricocheted off the crossbar. Well, the culprit there was Jung Yung Chun. Great header by Alexander Durich, leaves it on for John Wilkinson. Two players there, quickly closing him down, leaving no space. For the Singapore international, Murakami plays it on to Kenji Arai, the goal scorer. Another careless effort. Easily cleared out by Dan Bennett. It's well read there by Daniel Bennett. Just stepping forward in the play to pick up that second ball. Such a seasoned campaigner is Daniel Bennett. Not only is it his, it's his technical quality, but it's his leadership qualities as well. Very good organiser. Very solid partnership. The central defence, Daniel Bennett, Kenji Arai. Super is just now keeping possession of the ball, looking for the opening. Plenty of movements up front. Pakiwuk giving options, plenty of movement. Just trying to drag the Warriors' defence wide. It's been a good substitution. Unsu Ho coming on. Parky Walk, as you mentioned, playing a little bit more advanced as well. Looking to get forward a lot more than he did in the first half. Unsu Ho has plenty of pace to burn. You don't want to give him half a yard in and behind your defensive setup. Well, 64 minutes gone here at the Eastern Stadium. Again, the slightest of touch by the substitute. He's really got himself into the game, isn't he? He certainly has. Been a great addition. Just a shot for this up. He's seen an awful bobble there when he went to try and clear the ball. The shot comes in. Not quite cleared. Another effort. The body's all over the place. Choi Dong Su. Very great defending by Shai Fulisa. Quickly closed down. That's a shot from distance. Took a wicked deflection. Could have ended up anywhere, PJ. That's a great effort there by Juki Han. 35 yards out, struck it very, very well as you see here. Took the touch, knew exactly what he wanted to do. Kenji Arai, nice, brave header. Well, he's going to feel that in the morning, but <laughs> he will. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's the Super H with the corner now. Needs a real good delivery in the box. The big man again forward. Not bad this time around. Charles Jantan. Half cleared. Ball in the box there. It's all over the place. Tersak Chaiman and Amal Latif working well to clear their lines. Very, very well defended there from Daniel Bennett. Followed his runner deep into the six-yard box, jumping up. Good challenge between himself and Cheryl Jantan. As we see there, Jung Kyung Jun. These players really have come out fighting in this second half. They are two goals down. You really can see them getting a goal back shortly. They're starting to open up. The SAF defence, they really are playing with three players up front now. Park Ki Wook has joined Choi Dong Su and Mun Su Ho in the front line attack. Really only playing with three at the back now as well. Well, that's going to be a booking for Norikazu Murakami. Looks like uh, something intentional. Just stuck out his hand there. Clearly unnecessary, if you ask me, PJ. It's a very, very soft foul to give away. He was frustrated with himself there. You know, that cards, they can come back and haunt you. Here's one player that SAF do not want to see suspended. Well, he's already picked up three yellow cards prior to this game, so he's got four yellow cards now. So that will mean he'll miss the next game. Massive concern. There we go. That is incredibly the disappointing. Next game, the Warriors will take on Home United. That's a massive game by itself. And uh, Norikazu Murakami hasn't done himself any favor by getting booked. As you can see, as the referee was, T. Aravindan was going on to book him, Richard Box was screaming because he knew he was going to miss. 
a player of his quality. The next game against another side that's really chasing the title. Meanwhile, the Super Reds on the search now. Cross comes in. Good defending there, Shaifal Issa did very well to follow Munsu Ho. His positioning was good, knew exactly where Munsu Ho was. Well, the Super Reds attack really is coming down their left-hand side, really being able to get in behind Hafiz Osman at right back for SAF. Jun Bung Yuk now over the ball. He's got the support of Pak Kiwuk. Just chooses to launch the ball into the box. Looking for the big man. Alexander Duric. Leading by example. Gets a lick to that one. Still not over. Pak Kiwuk. Twisting and turning. Plenty of red shirts in the box now. Another snapshot coming in. Very, very good technical ability there. Here's the player number six, Choi Dong Su. Very, very skillful. Have a look at this one, PJ. Did that on purpose too, flicking it up so he could have the volley. That's a great little effort. Well, definitely would have gone down as one of the contenders for goal of the season. Have a look at this. The it's technical ability <laughs> and the awareness of Choi Dong Su. See, SAF, the midfielders are just getting caught back in the same defensive line as the back four. Just providing the Super Reds with a little bit more space in the middle of the park now. Alexander Duric now. I'll tell you what, I don't think that was offside. Alexander Duric made that run from deep. We'll have the opportunity to have a look at that again in a minute. Well, that's Est assistant referee Rosli Omar there. Very, very close, wasn't it, PJ? Very close. Well, when the ball, a little bit difficult to see from that replay. We need to see a little bit more of the build-up play. But when the ball left, his teammate's foot, I think Alexander Juric was onside. Well, he's got another opportunity now. That was the long legs of Ju Ki Hwan. Big boot size number nine. They got a toe poke to that one. <laughs> that is a big boot. Seemed to have just hurt himself in the process there. Well, I must say he has had a good game, just keeping Alexander Duric in check. He has. It's been a great tussle. Alexander Duric, what he has been able to do through his movement, his ability to hold the ball up, he has been able to bring the midfielders into play who really did dominate in that first half period. So very, very difficult when you are playing up front on your own. can be an incredibly thankless task. He's had a good game. Alexander Duric, as has his opponent, Juki Kwan, they really have at times cancelled each other out. Well, that's a very concerned Richard Bock just barking up some instructions there. Super Reds just taking their time. Just passing the ball around, looking for opening. Well, it must be said, a lot of players here, especially for the Warriors, put on a good performance here tonight, PJ. Really working their socks off. Certainly have. It's been a good team effort as well from SAF tonight. Meanwhile, it's Kim Jo Hong now. Ball is through. And a great tackle by John Wilkinson. Winning the ball. Fair and square there and looks for Alexander Duric, gives it away. And doesn't allow his defenders to breathe easy. Ball drilled in. Again, is well handled by the Warriors. A lot of space for the Warriors to exploit now. You see Murakami. That's a time on. He had option with Murakami there. He did. Murakami made a great run down the right hand side. He worked very hard to get in that position. It's a challenge just giving the ball away too easily in the middle. Well, having to work back now, Tersak Chaiman does well to track his man. Wins possession now, the ball's with Tersak Chaiman, plays it on to Alexander Duric. Doesn't really have options. Two players just breathing down his neck there. Again, Saifulisa. Yeah, exactly, it's a little bit difficult one. He didn't have many options. SAF really needed someone making a run into the channels, whether it be on that left hand or the right hand side of the park. Just really beginning to play within themselves when they do have the ball going forward now. 
not as many forward runs, being a little bit more conservative in their play. It's really limiting the amount of options they do have when they now go forward. Still keep keeping good possession of the ball, Super Eds. Here's an opening. Another strong challenge coming in from Daniel Bennett. That's a wild clearance by Shafule Shah, keeping the ball away way too easily. Choi Dong Su. Shafule Shah, the last 10, 15 minutes, his defensive positioning has been very impressive. Hasn't had the best game, and we're very much aware of that. But when he's really needed to at the moment, he's pulled out some very, very good blocks, good positioning. He's keeping Choi Dong Su quiet when he does drift into his area. Kim Jo Hong now really needs to put in a much better cross. Ball comes in. Far post there. Nobody really getting a touch to that one. Again, one of those very disappointing corners. You can see there's a couple of big players there, but the problem is they just play both sides actually. Except so the instance where Tersak Chaiman put in a wonderful cross in for Kenji Arai to capitalize. Well, it was the one real attacking opportunity in this first half. Quality on the set piece. Alexander Durich now again one of those key tussles tonight. This time around gets the better of Kuji Juan. Good ball there, Alexander. Here we see Ki Juhuan just losing control of the ball. Alexander Durich there quickly in, snapping at his heels there. Clearly pulled back. Well, he did. A little bit. Well, he's got to be careful because he's already on a yellow card. The last thing you need is for the Super Reds to lose a man at this stage of the game. Very true. It's Tersak Chaiman once again. Trying to another great delivery into the box. Again is the wonderful delivery of Tersak Chaiman. This time around is Norekazu Murakami who gets his second goal of the night. An absolute genius on the set piece. Tersak Chaiman. Look at the quality of this set piece. Perfectly timed run for Murakami into that near post area. Lovely, lovely little flick on, but it was the quality of the delivery from Tertik Chaiman right here. Plenty of pace, low and hard, into that vacant area, the near post. The Super Reds, absolutely nowhere to be seen. And SAF have come away from home to the home of the Super Reds, 3-0 up. Fantastic little finish. Well, it can't get any better for the Warriors. Have a look at this one. Very, very important free kick. We talked about the quality of the set plays. And this is why Norekazu Murakami has got his second goal of the night because Tersak Chaiman has been clinical with his delivery. Certainly has been, but just so disappointing from the Super Reds, the marking. You know that they've got the best defensive record in the league, but it was nowhere to be seen there. Murakami straight through the heart of their defense to pick that up unopposed. Well, let's not forget they've got two towering players in the likes of Ku Jinghuan and Pak Moon Ki for the Super Reds. We really expect them to get some sort of headers on, on defensive headers or defensive clearance rather. But fail to do so. Well, you, well, need, you need, sorry, Sassy, you need to have someone sitting there at the near post. Always someone needs to be sitting there to cut out the near post ball and no one was there and then no one followed the runner. Well, meanwhile, SFFC going to make a substitution of their own. With Faisal Aziz, defender. A bit of argy bargy going on in the far <laughs> corner there. SAF will just lap this up. They won't be too fussed about it. <laughs> it's Fukasawa who just looks shell shocked. He's like, what's going on there? Fukasawa. He went in for the challenge. He picked up the ball. We just see he doesn't want to give it back. A little bit of an, a little soft little push, I guess you could say. I think you could say that Fukasawa was trying to 
lap it up for all it was worth. This F won't be too fast with that. Let's kill a little bit of the clock. Well, we see a substitution. It's going to be Hafiz of Osman who's going to be coming off. Who's had a decent game so far? He has had a good game defensively, Sassy. Hasn't contributed in attack as much as he would have liked, but his defensive duties was very, very good in the challenge. A couple of big challenges early on. Defensive positioning was well. Super Reds have been able to exploit down his right-hand side area in this second half a little bit more. That's a good substitution there from Richard Bock. Bring him off. He's had a good game. He's going off three goals up. I'll be happy with that. He's just got a little bit of a limp. Well, Faisal Aziz played against the young line, started the game off. Didn't get a starting call-up today. But gets his chance to lap it up. 3-0 up away from home. Very comfortable. Why not make the change? Well, says Richard Bock. Not a bad time to come on, is it? 12 minutes to go. And collect your match, match bonus. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Three goals up. Away from home against you. Your key title opponents. You just see also SAF. Even now, the talking that's going on. Plenty of communication. They're still up for the task. Daniel Bennett doing lots of talking. Organising at the back. They'll be happy to keep a clean sheet. And it's this intensity and this consistency of intensity from SAF, which has seen them come through in this game. Well, I'm sure Home United coach Sivaji, PN Sivaji, will be sitting at home and watching this match on telly. Been thinking how to play the Warriors the next match because that's going to be probably the match of the season. It's going to be a big game, that one as well. Well done from John Wilkinson, just to pull the ball out of a congested area, play it wide to Turtsik Chiman. We see SAF really defending a lot higher up the park now, which is good to see. Same United under a lot more, uh, puts Super Red, sorry, under a lot more pressure. Getting ahead of myself for this next game. <laughs> Don't get excited, hold your horses. <laughs> exactly. Plenty to go in this match. Super Reds now, ball with Choi Dong Su. Can he inspire the Reds for at least one goal? Pulls the trigger. Good defensive work yet again by Fukasawa. Very, very cheeky by Tersak Chaiman. Not making the player. Just adding salt to injury that <laughs> he's, he's such a clever little player, isn't he? Absolute magician on the ball. But go back to the block from Fukasawa. He's done so well doing that okay. offensive duties. Well, I'm wrong. Sivaji is actually here to come. <laughs> As one would imagine. What was I thinking about? <laughs> Yes, he'll be watching this game very, very closely. He'll no doubt go back and go through the videotape as well of the game. SAF, no real surprises with the way that they have played in this game and the way that they've set up. They've had a lot of joy from that 4-2-3-1 formation. And as that play there, he pulled out that really big block early on. Fukasawa. That's a neat one too there. Kim Jo Hong. In a very advanced position, shot comes in, again dealt with very easily. The Warriors not clearing the right, Fukasawa, big up and under on that one. Just trying to release Alexander Duric, no real options. Finds Tersak Chaiman. Well, you can always count on Tersak Chaiman to keep the ball now. Bit of showboating. Did well there, Alexander Duric, to win the ball there, get it to his feet. Had two players on him. Maintaining that central position. SAF using the ball to great effect at the moment. Switching the ball, moving it from right to left. Just keeping possession. Good footwork by Saifulesa. Oh, the ball just took a wicked bobble, didn't it? Just before Johnny Wilkinson tried to control that. Good play there from Saifulesa. Clever little play there on the left-hand side. Good ball into the middle of the park. Kenji, all right. Anticipating play there. Murakami just giving away another foul. That's actually quite a, a good little challenge coming in with his, his trailing leg there, just flicking it back, trying to win the ball. Munsu Ho now. Just fails to find his feet. He's he just, the ball away. Yeah, he just got a little bobble there, Munsu Ho. He was under plenty of pressure also from Kenji Arai. He's had another solid game at the back. So has Daniel Bennett. Really good, solid central defensive partnership for SAF. 
we spoke about earlier on, we know that SAF, really they've been applauded for their attacking strengths and their creative ability going forward. But a real key factor to their success has also been their defensive duties and how well they do work hard as a team defensively and remain really compact. Well, if it stays this way for the next eight to ten minutes, SAFFC will be on 73 points, which is four points clear of the Super Reds and Home United. Let's not forget, last year they beat at Home United to the championship by one point only. That must have been painful for Home United, but Super Reds now. Murakami, great little sliding challenge in the penalty box there. You've got to time those ones perfectly. Not just giving away a foul. Just confirming the commentator's curse. Again, the Super Reds just pushing bodies forward. Just one man at the back now. Really, really need to make something out of this one. Anything at this stage of the game will solely be a consolation goal, PJ. Hey, hey. So it's going to be very difficult to get back in this game. Three goals down. Oh, again, Alexander Duric doing his defensive duties. Kim Jo Hong pulls it back. Mansuo, can he pull the trigger? Still staying on his feet. Oh, what a wonderful save. Didn't really have the power to trouble Sharu Jantan. But let's not take anything away from Sharu Jantan. Quick off his line. Quick to the ground. Good save. He was very well positioned there, Sharu Jantan, getting down to his left-hand side. You just saw this Park Munki on the right-hand side who was absolutely furious that the ball wasn't played into his path. He had plenty of space out on the right-hand side. And you just see Alexander Juric. Very, very professional performance once again. He's picking out the ball, drawing the foul. Super Eds. Still not panicking. Trying to pass the ball around. But surely you must say this is really beyond them now. Three goals. Really actually need to get four goals to get all three points. That's not going to happen. Well, never say never. <laughs> it ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> Very true. But it's going to be another substitution for the Warriors. Well, it's going to be player number 20, Said Karim. Well, he'll come on for Tersak Chaiman. Obviously, Richard Bock trying to give his playmaker a rest. Really anticipating the match that's coming up against Home United. Tersak Chaiman, another wonderful, wonderful game by Tersak Chaiman. Really, really, really did what it take to give them the lead, right? He certainly did. And he's taking his time coming off now. <laughs> very, very slow walk. It's, uh... <laughs> that is quality. We see. <laughs> well, he's just got to be careful. The last thing you need is for the referee to book him, and it looks that way. Tersak Chaiman will get a booking. Very, very unnecessary, if you ask me. Very tricky start, and it's referee's just going to add that time back on the clock. Well, he's already got five yellow cards, which means this is his sixth yellow card. And. Uh, Disappointing to get a yellow card like that. He's <laughs> very, very cheeky. And the referee at the end of the day, he's just going to add that time back on at the end. Well, to be fair, he really left the referee with no options but to book him because that was clearly um, time wasting, if you ask me. <laughs> it, it, it certainly was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really needed to be escorted out of the field by one of the Super X players. What Choi Dong Su was saying. Do you mind hurrying up? And Tessie <laughs> Chaiman stopped and said, would you like to go off? <laughs> <laughs> Murakami getting the slightest step. Wilkinson. That's a good block from Alexander Juric. He didn't mean it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not been the night for Alexander Juric. <laughs> See, Murakami just got a casual little knock in the head. Yeah, a little bit of frustration creeping in there by the Super Reds. It's 
Mark Kiewok finding himself in offside position. That's the confirmation of the yellow card for player number 22, Kim Jae Hong. He did well at the defensive line for SAF. They were stepping up very well. Still really trying to stay in touch with their midfield. Just reduce the time and space, make it compact in the middle of the park. A wonderful touch by Murakami. Really doesn't find Alexander Durich like he would like to. Kim Jirai just playing in the back to Sharil Jantan. Not the best of clearance by Sharil Jantan, but still Saif Karim. That's a good touch from Saif <laughs> Karim. I think he meant it. Get possession nevertheless. And Fukasawa just dragged back by... Have a look at this. No doubt about the foul there. So Jong Su, the culprit. Said Karim just playing the ball back to Sharif Jantan. Super S just pushing on. Mansuho. Good trickery. Doesn't get past. Jung Mukyuk. She was looking for just a little bit of space to pull the trigger. Still not over. Super Reds just trying to get the goal. Really struggling to make that breakthrough. SAF getting back behind the ball. Make it very difficult. But show a on there. Just giving the ball away too easily. You're 3-0 up. Have a touch. Just launch it. Down the field. Into the grandstand. Just trying to be a little bit too pretty. Playing it to feet. Well, we've just got confirmation that there will be three minutes added into this half. Three added minutes. Super Reds now. Again, another poor delivery from the corner. That is disappointing there. Oh, he looks like a very, very disappointed man. Coming so close to winning the championship and creating history. Well, it's not meant to be. Or maybe it's still too early to say that. Alexander Durich. Yeah, I don't agree with that, Phil. That's a very, very good challenge from Alexander Durich. Just got his body in there. Still illustrating his strength on the ball. Wasn't a foul for me. Well, for the official, P. Pandian, just indicating that there will be three minutes added on in this half. Very, very good control. Strong play. Choi Dong Su just lays it on for Mansuo. They are lining up now. That sums up the night for the Super X. That's probably one of the best opportunities for Park Hee Kook. It certainly is. Park Hee Kook just got the north for Bobber when he went to strike the ball there. Right little play there from Choi Dong Su. First of all, it was the first touch from his chest. And the key, the ball. Shoffel Issa actually went in for a cheeky, nasty little challenge. As we just see here, Choi Dong Su is able to ride it. Just play the ball in to the substitute, Mun Su Ho. And then pass it on to Park Hee Wook. And you just see that bobble that it took. Well, to be fair to him, the ball did take a bobble. Meanwhile, it's going to be the third substitution for the Warriors, Daniel Bennett. It's been another very, very good display by Daniel Bennett. He'll make way for player number 13. It's a Rosali Kalek, former Gelang player. He had a very, very good game, Daniel Bennett. Once again, such a consistent performer for SAF. Alexander Duric just frustrated with the substitute side, Karim. He gave the ball away way too easily. Murakami, meanwhile, cheeky back heel. Duric gets to it. Does well, just keep past one challenge. Alexander Duric. Just running out of space in the end. Had the right idea. Just trying to take it into the corner. Wanting to either draw the foul or win a corner. Well, we'll throw in. We are almost two minutes into regulation time. Super Reds still pushing on. Just trying to find just one goal. At least for their own pride. Oh, they're doing very well, they say. If you just see how hard they are still working defensively, they're three goals up. We've got Ahmad Latif tracking back very, very quickly, working hard. He really has. 
Had a good game, good mature performance, good team effort from Ahmad Latif. Mansu Ho plays it on two. Choi Dong Su. His touch a little bit too heavy. That's not a goal. It's unfortunate. It's a good finish, nevertheless, from Ju Ki Huan, who has stepped forward into an advanced position. Really playing as a striker now. Just Choi Dong Su just couldn't keep it in. Probably. Plenty of players slipping in and around the 18 yard box there. Very soggy. That's uh, probably the final throw of the dice for the Super Reds. Pushing the big man forward. Super Reds really want to find at least one goal. That's the end. And the referee, T. Araminden, blows for the final whistle. What a game it has been for the Warriors tonight. This game was poised to be the title decider. SAFFC just coming here and signaling the intention that they want to get this title very, very badly and create history for the first time, PJ. They certainly do. A very, very professional performance from SAF. Coming away from home and to play against your key title challenges, the Super Reds, and to pick up three points, three goals to nil. We just see well, a player it, there, Murakami, man of the match for us, had a quality, quality game.